Hello mates and welcome to the Bentley 2018 Continental GT3 Grand Prix and yeah as you can see the qualification round one will start in about nine hours so yeah let's take a look onto the question mark box and we got yeah welcome to the Bentley Continental GT3 Grand Prix event be ready to compete against only 20 players to get awesome rewards and yeah we are ready and first off you will need to practice <laughs> to unlock the qualifiers and on the qualifiers you will need to finish inside top 10 of your qualification group there will be two qualifiers so you got two chances to qualify and yeah you should really try to qualify otherwise you will need to pay some token fee to get into the final rounds and yeah once you are in the final rounds you definitely need to reach the top and get awesome rewards so let's go and take a look onto the prices and yeah here we are we got five tiers as usual um tier five comes with one key for the yeah, first player or position number one we got tier four with two keys for position one and two we got tier three over here with three keys for position one two and three as well as one additional epic import part for position number one and yeah actually i would recommend you to try to get into tier 2 or even better into tier 1 depending on your skill and yeah actually yeah if you are going for tier 1 you might expect players are upgrading their cars a lot maybe more than in tier 2 but even in tier 2 you are not guaranteed that the other players are not going to upgrade their cars a lot but yeah let's take a look over here we got um, keys for the first uh, five players in here and there's also epic import part rewards over here for position one two and three as well as the grand prix decal for the car then we take a look onto tier one and tier one got epic import parts for the first five players and keys for the first 10 players as well as token rewards and a lot of premium grand prix packs and the chance to get a key out of 35 or 30 packs is not that bad actually so yeah if you don't finish inside top 10 of tier 1 you are yeah it is kind of likely you might get a key out of here but yeah maybe if you're unlucky you don't get a key so yeah also we got a decal over here in tier 1 as well as in tier 2 and yeah then i would say and let's go and take a look onto the car first off as you can see i have already done some practice runs i will show you my practice run um right after showing the car and yeah here we go with the car itself it is now upgraded for the practice round at one star and car rank 1524 um the top speed is not that great only 289 this is not uh, too bad but it is also not yeah overwhelming um the acceleration is really poor with only 67.6 and the handling is showing you 51.3 but you will notice the handling feels much worse it feels like a car with a handling of yeah a 30 stat or even lower and also the nitro efficiency is pretty low with only 25 so you will need to have a very nice nitro management and you can't drive in yellow nitro all race long <laughs> and yeah good thing about this car it only comes with a seven minute refill timer and with a gas capacity of five or even more if you have the legend pass um let's head over to multiplayer 2 because over there there is the bentley continental gt3 trial series ongoing we have already played some on last saturday's live stream and made the first 600 of 1000 series score definitely make sure to finish it off to get one epic import part for this car and yeah let's take a look onto the golden free try max version and yeah i have also compared uh, prepared some graphic for you so let's take a look onto it and yeah over here you can see the global version compared to the actual switch version and yeah as you can see 
the nitro efficiency will get improved from 43.9 up to 50.8 um, on the Italian season update and also the handling will get fixed um, so that the car feels more like a car with a handling of 72 and not like a car with a handling of 35 or something and yeah this is um, the difference between our actual version and the later on fixed version. Um, you can also see 128 blueprints are needed to max out the car and yeah we don't have the relay packs yet in the store same as the regular packs we will need to wait for it and yeah on the lower right corner you can also see the stages qualification round one and two will be Cairo thousand minarets and we got Scotland lighthouse first round second round is Osaka mode final round three is Shanghai reach for the sky round four will be Himalayas dipping down Round 5 we got Red Race in Osaka and round 6 is New York Leaps and Bounds. Yeah, actually I'm not a big fan of all of these tracks. <laughs> At least uh, locations Scotland and Shanghai are absolutely fine for me. But yeah, we will see how I perform on these tracks. And yeah, with this being said, let's take a look onto the decal. Over here you can see the... Yeah, first off you have the standard decal, which comes with number 7 on it and a green and black color theme. Actually, this also looks pretty nice. So if you don't get a decal, um, yeah, this one looks also pretty nice to me. You can also apply some custom color onto it. But there is also the Grand Prix decal with number 3, 2 or 1 on the side. And yeah, let's take a look around over here. And yeah, also this color theme looks very nice to me. And yeah, I would like to get it. <laughs> and yeah, we will find out if I was able to get one in about, yeah, a week or two weeks. I don't know. But yeah, let's get back to the practice rounds. Or no, first off, let's take a look on to the daily events. Because if you get a key, there is also the finals royals part one. Over here you will get 100 tokens in return when you win the race with the Bentley Continental GT3. And also let's take a look onto the special event for the Aston Martin Valhalla concept car. And let's hop over to stage 8 which is starting on November 5 in about two days. And yeah, over here you can see if you have the car upgraded to 3 stars. You will get 200 tokens in return as well as an epic import part for the Aston Martin Valhalla concept car. And the thing is, the car over here is a free try, but as you can see on the upper right corner, you will have need to have a required car rank of 1600. This is a two star version of the car. So to participate in the stage, you will need to have the car at two stars. To get all rewards out of it, you will need to have a three stars. But the good thing is, you don't need to have the key. And another good thing is, the event is running for 16 more days, so you don't need to rush for the third star. You can just um, upgrade it to two stars, get all the blueprints out of the Grand Prix, and come back later on and finish off the stage to get the epic import part out of here but yeah let's get back to the grand prix and let's get into my practice run and here we go and yes location cairo track thousand minarets and yeah I can give you some little advice to get some easier qualification group. You can just wait two or three seconds at the start. And yeah, definitely don't set up a superb time that you are not able to beat your own again and uh, actual qualification anymore. And yeah, as you can see, I was just waiting two or three seconds and then we start onto the left route, doing some double barrel roll jump over here. Um, picking up the blue nitro and yeah jumping back onto the upper section of the road 
And yeah, unfortunately I only did a single barrel instead of a double barrel, so I didn't have my shockwave ready and had to go for the imperfect nitro. And then we go into the pyramid, picking up the yellow nitro bottle, jumping out with another imperfect nitro. Over here I'm doing yeah a little bit high jump so I was not able to pick up the left ramp. Um, actually that would give you some more air time and yeah happier to get some better time most likely. Yeah, here we got the shockwave ready, taking the ramp. Try not to run into the truck definitely. And yeah, taking up this ramp here with yeah some more imperfect nitros. And then we go into this very long turn and I was only decelerating and yeah. I I was not going for a drift. Actually the thing is if you try to drift through this turn you will lose a lot of speed so I just went this way through the turn. Then we do another double barrel down here and yeah. Some minor um, drifts, some very little drifts and also try to stop the 360 spins over here and yeah there we go um, time 133 could have been a 130 maybe even some better if I will practice some more this track and yeah here we go um, all conditions are finished including the jump and yeah I think we also got all the nitro bottles and yeah here we got another blueprint for the Bentley Continental G3 my first one and yeah, if you are very lucky, you can even get some epic import part out of um, these packs. Yeah. Overall, I hope this video was helpful to you. And yeah, I think I will also post my other runs later on. And yeah, good luck for the Grand Prix. And yeah, see you in one of the next videos.